So this is where you think he is? Around the area, have you told the engines yet? No, however I am planning on telling them tonight. All right then I'll see you tomorrow for the search. Very well then. Okay you three I need one of you to take me to a certain location, where exactly? Near the old Midsoder sheds. Sir, why would you want to go there those sheds have been abandoned for nearly 20 years. Personal business Rex. I'll do it sir. Very well then tomorrow collect some coaches me and some volunteers will go as far as the rails can go to the sheds. Then I left the three to their own matters. Seems like a wild goose chase to me Bert. If you do find something make sure to tell us what is it. I'll try. That morning Bert left the sheds and smoothly collected his coaches soon set off towards the sheds. His crew and the small controller left the coaches, leaving Bert alone. This isn't so bad. Three hours later. Okay this is getting boring I've been stuck here waiting for them to come back. Then suddenly. Where have you been? Doesn't matter take us back to the yard. That night the three engines were talking again. So what do you think he's been hiding from us? Maybe a new engine we've been needing some extra engines to help with the shunting around the yards. How could you possibly look for an engine in an abandoned railway? A rusted engine would still get more work done than me. The small controller soon returned to see Bert. Thanks to your help we managed to find what we were looking for he's coming to thank you tomorrow. Then he soon left to make arrangements, that morning Bert woke up to find Rex and Mike weren't in their sheds. He soon saw something in the yard and came towards it. Oh my. Hello you must be Bert. Yes. Thank you for helping them and finding me. So you were the something they were looking for. Yes when the railway closed I was stored into a shed with my coach Jeff and wasn't found until yesterday. So you're telling me you have been stuck in a shed for 20 years. Yep. What did you do? We mostly just slept. Duke we must get going Stuart and Falcon will be glad to see you again. Goodbye my friends. I don't see why Mr. Percival told us to go to the sheds early. I think you got us in trouble. No. I didn't do anything today. Wait a minute. Oh my god. It's Duke. We thought you were gone forever. I'm not. Still the same as I was 22 years ago. Except without my tender. Oh we have so much catching up to do Grandpuff. I haven't heard that name in years. <laughs>